Hey, hello everybody. Larry here. Welcome to Larry's Fountain Pens. My name's Larry and I want to give an update on a pen that uh, hadn't got the love the pen needed. Let me explain a little bit. The pen, when I got it, was okay. It looked fine and it wrote fine. Then it went into my pen case, and I maybe use it a few more times, but I just didn't bond with it. I don't have the reason why. Maybe too many pen reviews got me kind of mixed up, got me kind of lost. Sometimes you get so much going on, you might lose a certain pen all in the mix. Well, this pen is a custom-made pen. And that when I say custom, I mean custom, made one at a time. And when I saw it, this was back on November 19th when I re-inked this pen up. I looked at that pen and I said, look at this beautiful pen. It's a great looking pen. I love the size. I love the color. I love the way it writes. So why wouldn't I feel on this before? That's on me. So let's look at the pen I'm talking about. This is the Americana. It has a 1.1 nib in it. And the creator of this beautiful fountain pen is Jim Hines. That was one of his newest creation. I believe I published this pen back in 2018. And it, uh, this is a teal blue, uh, but more of a black pronounced color. But when you hold it into the light, you can see that beautiful teal blue just, it just, a beautiful color. It really is. You know, I love the shape of this pen. And this is on the real side. I love the way it feels. So, how did I not fall in love with it the first time? Beats the heck out of me. I love this clip. Now, I don't know if uh, Jim is still using these clips. It might have changed over. But I know Jim is, has some really nice clips as well. And you can find this uh, pen on Jim's website. HeinzPens.com Beautiful pen. And I'm just looking over some of my notes here. La, 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 la. So, Jim makes these pens one at a time. And this pen is the material ebonite. And just look at the pen for a while. You know, if you were actually holding this pen in your hand, you could understand and relate to what I'm saying immediately. This wasn't given to me. I bought it. And, you know, it's a pen that I'm going to continue to use more and more. But I wanted to bring this pen back and just show it to you again. And for all those new subscribers that have never seen this pen yet. Excuse me. And you can find that on my YouTube channel. Uh... Episode 397 will take you to where this pen is. So, you might want to check that out. Uh, unscrew the barrel. It's got a Jobo number 6 nib. And Jim's new nibs will have his logo on them now. 
and let's untwist the barrel off. And you know one thing about Jim's pins that they come with a converter. There are some pins that you have to buy the converter. And that's a drag because you know you're already paying a, a good penny for a pin then you have to buy the converter. Now the ink I'll be using in this pen, an ink I really like, it's the Noodlers USS Texas. For me, I love the ink. So let's get to writing real quick. And we'll get some of this down. And we'll just do a few little swirls here. And we'll check for wetness. Nice and wet. Downstroke. Now the cross stroke. That's where you're going to get your different line variation. Love it. The pen handles very well, and it should. When you're paying for a custom-made pen, one should expect to get that awesome feeling out of it. You know, I do expect my pens to write extremely well right out of the box. Sometimes it's a big letdown when you get a, a pen, especially a high-end pen, that just sucks when it writes. It's just a turn-off for me. Very disappointed in it. But this pen has been a total enjoyment to use. It actually helps my handwriting a lot. So, my favorite nib is a medium nib, still is. But this 1.1 Jovo nib is sure climbing up that uh, ladder pretty quick. I do like this 1.1 a lot. Uh, like I said, it, it just writes so smooth and wet. and uh, You know, it, it's a beautiful ebonite material, a cool looking clip, it's right in there, boom, and out again, in there, and boom, out, I, it just can't say enough when you get a pen in your hands that just performs so well, so my apologies to the Americana for overlooking you like I did in the past. But I thought it was time to bring this pen back. Awesome. You can find this pen and other colors of this model on Jim Hines' website. Check it out. See what rocks your world. Folks, that's going to wrap this one up for me today. Again, thank you for joining me today. And God bless. And remember, don't text and drive. See you later.